The High Commissioner of Canada in Guyana joined local healthcare professionals on Tuesday to launch a new program which seeks to build a stronger and more sustainable mental health system locally. Through a five-year, $2.9 million Canadian dollars project, the team hopes to support local organizations to make mental health care more accessible among young people and at the community level. Titled Safeguarding the Human Dignity and Rights of Populations at Risk for Ill Mental Health in Vulnerable Communities Across Guyana, the new project is being funded by Global Affairs Canada and executed by Canadian partner, the International Development and Relief Foundation. Canadian High Commissioner Mark Berman attended a launch on Tuesday at the Arthur Chung Conference Centre. He explained that the project will be focusing on mental health and strengthening the availability and capacity of mental health services at both the community and school levels to address, among other things, comparatively high suicide rates. We therefore recognize the importance of tackling the problem of mental illness both at home and globally. Canada is providing funding worldwide to experienced partners such as the IDRF to ensure mental health and psychosocial support is available to those who need it most. For example, we have partnered with Grand Challenges Canada to support one of the largest portfolios of global mental health innovations in the world, investing over 57 million Canadian dollars to support 124 projects in 42 countries. The project launch coincided with the ongoing Mental Health and Wellbeing Conference, and Berman explained that it was timely to support the government now and over the next five years. Noting that this is Canada's first mental health program in the Caribbean, Berman also congratulated the government on the recent passage of the Suicide Prevention Bill in the National Assembly. Meanwhile, Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony also addressed those gathered at the launch. He said that the government considers every citizen important to national development and welcomed the help to reduce suicide rates in Guyana. In 2020, over 140 persons died by suicide in Guyana. Uh, in these communities, it's not only going to help us with uh, suicide and mental health problems, but it can also help to create better well-being in the community and I think as you can see from the training uh, the, the components that they have there will be doing lots of resilience training and other types of training. Dr. Anthony said the government's efforts are evident with the passage of the suicide prevention bill last week which in effect decriminalized suicide attempts. He recognized too Canada's support to Guyana during the COVID-19 pandemic. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Raghavir.